Good morning, folks. This is the four hour chart on natural gas at the NYMEX, the Henry Hub NYMEX price, and exactly the same at my broker at Black Bull. We're trading the front month contract and we've rallied quite nicely over the last few weeks. And I did draw this purple line in. I'll link the last video I did on this at the end of this one. And I said we might have to get back down to this trend line, fill that gap, and do it quite quickly. This is the four hour chart. So I expected, you know, within a few four hour candles. As it happens, we actually delayed this pullback along the top there underneath the trend line for quite some time. We'll switch to the day chart shortly and now pulling back into this zone. We must allow for a dip down to 275 here on the futures down to the trend line and the breakout point of this triangle. But also notice below that is the 200 period moving average at 266.65 thereabouts where the 100 is too. It's also a flat bottom which has held up pretty well with a, a triple attempt to get through there. Let's look at the day chart. So here we are. You'll be familiar with these squiggles. So I think we can get rid of a couple of them now. We haven't done this one. We actually followed the superior lines, literally, in the term, in the, in the meaning of the word superior. We followed the superior lines. But do we have to follow this one? We don't know that just yet. So far, we're following this green squiggle that I drew in with a funny cap on the top of the end of the line. Let's make that look a little bit better. So actually it's doing exactly what I thought it would and had the green line in there for a reason, my favorite line. And if we zoom in a bit tighter on the day chart here, you can see we've sort of moved down. We don't yet have a dark cloud cover candle, although we do have a higher open than the previous body's high, but we haven't got more than halfway down through the previous bullish candle. That's why the 50% retracement level is so important because it actually defines a particular candle shape too. Even though it's not a Fibonacci level, it fits within the Fibonacci sequence quite well. So we generally want to hold above 50%. And going into the 618 level, actually the golden pocket, doesn't work quite as well as it used to these days. Much better is the 50%, the 38.2, and of course the 786, the last chance Fibonacci, which is down here somewhere. And if we did get down there today, we'd expect a sharp bounce back to negate the potential for this to be a dark cloud cover candle. So it all looks pretty good. One thing you will notice, and which is pretty important, is that we've now made a higher high than the previous swing high. We've actually started an uptrend. So we've got higher lows starting right back here earlier in the year. There's the next low, the next low, and now we've just formed a higher high. Actually, we need to get above this high at 3.03, 3.0. 25 thereabouts in order to really get going but we've done the first little bit there let's go back to the four hour chart you can see now we're just curling down we just actually bounced off in the last few minutes bounce off that red line that red line is nothing special it's one of my new squiggles and of course if we don't actually manage to get up through here we may eventually follow the red path downwards i think that's less likely at this point and that we'll try and get through here it's quite a determined attempt to get up and we have broken above that previous swing high. The moment we get above there and close above there at 3.02, let's call it $3, we should then head up towards the next resistance levels. Let's have a look at where those are. We'll need to go back to the day chart for that. And straight away, you can see that swing high that we just referred to at just above $3. Then there's another one over here at $3.15 or 16, and then another one at $3.38. So all quite neatly stacked and not that far above us actually. And if we did get up to this next one, and that's this year's high, then we'd certainly be looking to take some size off or short or even reverse. Remember, natural gas generally trades between $2 and $4. That's most of the time, probably 80 to maybe even 90% of the time. So we shouldn't be aiming for $5, $7, $10. That's not the game in natural gas. The game is to trade the range from the top around about $3.50 to $4 down to the bottom around about $1.50 to $2. That's the sort of range we want to be trading in. And the only reason we're long or have been long, we're starting to look more towards the top side now, but the only reason we've been long is we've been closer to the lower side of the range. We're now moving up towards the top side of the range, which is right up here. So we're sort of three quarters of the way up already towards the top of this recent range, and there's no telling what will happen when we get there. If there is tremendous demand through industry and heating or cooling, or if there's a drop off in supply or some disruption in supply, or maybe some weather events, we could see this being surpassed. For now, however, we should consider that to be the top of the range unless proven otherwise, and a daily close above there perhaps would change my mind. I'm going to prove this to you by zooming this chart out to the weekly chart, and my contention that we generally trade between two and four dollars is based on the long-term chart. This goes back years and years and years. I've got a line drawn at four dollars forty there, and I've got one drawn at one dollar fifty here, and that's the general range of natural gas. Occasionally, we peek out through the top, or through the bottom, not very often. We did have a prolonged period above there in the early 2000s, and then one recent one in about 2022. But apart from all of that, 
we trade generally along the bottom here. Now this chart doesn't go back far enough, but this goes back many, many years if you can look to the left, which we can't. So the other thing is natural gas likes trading in triple tops and double tops and triple bottoms and double bottoms. As you can see, we have highlighted those on this chart, all the doubles and triples. And I've also recently highlighted this recent triple bottom down here and another one down there. And we had a triple bottom there, even though it doesn't look like it on this weekly chart, triple weekly bottom. So that's what the weekly chart looks like. And you can see our targets are not all that ambitious, just the top of this order block and range at about $3.36. That's this previous swing high. And then maybe we could get up to 360 and potentially up to the 200 period moving average here at about 385. And with all the luck of the Irish, we could get up to $4.40. But for now, we're just trying to get up above $3 and hold there for a little bit and get up to about halfway between $3 and $4. Look to take profit and potentially look to swing this around and go back down towards the short side. Well, I hope you found that useful. If you did, I'd appreciate your subscribe and your thumbs up. And if you'd like to join the channel for a dollar, there's a link button below for that that just says join. Take care. Not gas kings, we train for grace. Oh, yeah. We'll make the smile lights up the place. Market swing, but we hold our base. Double bottom strong, we're in the chase. Come on. Click and clack that online race. Uh -huh. Sharks go wild.